What's up, YouTube? It's your boy DR2727. Shop my transformer clip. It's one to a scale clip. It's whatever you clip. Shop to you. And we're doing something different. We're doing a review. I think I'm on, on my channel. I've only done like two or three reviews. And I only do a review if something is super obscure or if there is no other review out for a particular figure. So I haven't found a, I found one review for it and it was in Chinese. So I just said I'll try. I'll hunker down for the community and try my hand at a review. And as you can see, this is Flames Tours. Curry, Curry, Curry line, the Rodimus. And before we get started, three things specifically. One, this is a non transforming transformer. Two, this is a $400 figure. And three, if you do get this figure, the instructions tell you to basically be careful with the neck, art the head and neck articulation because the wires, if you turn it to the left or right too much, more than 90 degrees, you can break the wires for the electronics. So before we get started, I want to get started. I want to let you guys know that. And I will say that throughout the review about the um, neck articulation, I just want to, I want to stress that as much as I can. So here's the front of the box. Here's the back of the box. Here's the inside of the box. So you see what you get. Yeah, so this thing comes with a metric ton of accessories, and I try to lay them out. It's three trays. I try to lay them out um, by how they come. And on the top tray, you get the figure along with these accessories. You get five sets of hands. You get left and right kind of grabbing hands, left and right trigger trigger hands, left and right holding hands. You get two set of relaxed hands. I mean, posing hands. One set of truly posed hands, and another set of kind of relaxed, kind of posed hands. They all are decoded the same, and that is, let's see if I can show it here. And here it is that gold everything's painted too it's gold paint or yellow paint gold accent maroon kind of knuckle gauntlets you get these two side gauntlets that um, that can be used multiple ways it is again painted spectacularly you get this gunmetal kind of this gunmetal paint you get this bronze this orange bronze paint you get this um on orange general orange paint you get this gold paint you get this kind of silver paint you get this gold streak you get this um charcoal kind of paint it's just fantastic it peg pegs on to him on his arms and other places but you get two of these and it's painted beautifully like one more time just to show you how beautifully painted it is i hope the camera's catching that well and all this is metallic paint so it looks fantastic you get this that is meant to be kind of the fishing accessory slash blaster and it articulates um it articulates it has the same thing you got the copper paint right here right here right there on top for the rail right there it had this blue gray paint has a darker version of the blue gray paint has this maroon has maroon at the barrel just beautifully done you get these, you get two of these. These are um, meant to be inside gauntlet pieces for when he's in Rodimus Prime mode. They are painted beautifully. You get, again, kind of that bronzes gun metal paint. You get the maroon paint. You get the red paint. Just done two different tones. So, like, the um, metallic, glossy, and the gun metal is kind of flat. So, you get just different textures with the paint. You get two guns. You get his traditional guns. Both deco the same, both with this kind of grayish blue um paint it has silver this articulates right here you get the green in there you get the gold you get some more silver um with this one kind of the same thing get you get silver you get gold i mean bronze is gold you get that green the um gun is in that flat kind of bluish gray thing and this articulates because they're meant to combine together and how to combine it is basically you take this part off. I'm not going to combine it. You take this part off and you basically plug them in and you get you get your super like that and you get your super mega weapon. So beautiful job, beautiful job, beautiful job. Everything's painted to the nines. So that's the top tray. And also in the top tray, you get the figure, but we'll talk about that later. He comes with three additional faces. He comes installed with a stoic face, but he has a yelling face he has a smirking face and he has a grrr a mad face and if you look at this they're all deco the same they all have the gray paint white for when he's showing his teeth and charcoal when he, he has his mouth open and 
They look fantastic. The problem, I have two problems with this. One is light pipe. So let me move my finger and you can see how we're, it looks amazing right there because it's light pipe. I'll put my finger right back. It looks dead. And that's a huge problem for a figure that's, you know, premium. And the second thing is I think it doesn't really capture the character. He has the black outline, but the black normally um, goes further. And um, this is the comic book version of Rodimus. And if you know, if you don't know in the comics, Rodimus is a big kid. And so, like, they didn't capture, like, they needed a truly smoking, smirking face, a potty face, stuff like that. They, I don't feel they capture the character. This is tray two, and most of the stuff on this tray is for the Rodimus Prime gimmick, but we'll go through everything, and we'll start from the top to bottom. First off, you get two different effects. You get this one, that if you look and see, it starts dark, translucent, gets lighter, and goes back darker. And this is meant to be a sword for the fishing rod from tray one. You can turn that into a sword, and this is meant to be like the blazing, the blazing sword effect for it. You also get a blast effect, same thing, starts off light, I mean, orange translucent, start off light, gets darker the further you go down. You get the traditional Rodimus fin, hot rod, Rodimus, whatever you want to call them fins, and these things are just really well done, painted real well. You get the red paint, you get the yellow paint, you get the gold paint, you get a lighter gold paint. You get, um, let's flip it on the back. This is the part that shows when you plug it in, you get another gold paint. You get this bronze, this gar this bronze, this copperish gunmetal paint. You get this maroon paint. And these things articulate. So if you stretch out, you get metallic red, orange, orange, red paint, and gold paint. And that stretches out for the Rodimus Prime mode. Or you can do it for the normal Rodimus mode. But this is a really well done accessory, just painted to the nines. Let me let you guys get a with it. You get two of these kind of car fit, and again, once again, painted on um, to the nines. This has a light up gimmick. I haven't taken out the light part yet, but it comes with the gold paint, silver paint, cherry red paint, a different type, the base red paint, the reddish kind of maroonish paint. It comes with the gold paint, silver paint. The tires are plastic. They don't roll anything, but the black paint for that, it has a translucent um, on top of yellow. On, well, it has two translucent pieces. Yellow, red, it has that orange paint, silver paint, gold paint at the top, gold and maroon, gold and maroon, gold. Just fully painted. even had like detail on the inside of it. So just paint, 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 paint. Try to give it got the full view of it and like i said these do light up i just don't have i haven't unplugged the lights for a chip and i'll show that try to show that when i do the rodimus gimmick rodimus prime gimmick excuse me you get two of these you get and these are called jet effects and instructions they articulate i'm not going to show that right now but you get silver paint black paint um bronze cop bronze is copper paint more silver paint a true bronze on top you get a translucent you get silver. This is the inside that you plug in. On the outside, you get this copper ring right there, that bronze outline, silver paint, more copper, goldish kind of goldish paint. Just really well done. Really well done, as always, what you can say with Flames Toys. You get these arm gauntlets, and these are meant to be plugged in on the side of his arm in the Rodimus Prime mode. This knife articulates. You can go in and go out. You get a translucent blade. You get this silver paint here. Again, you get this bronze, this gunmetal paint here, black paint. You get this maroonish paint. You get a true maroon paint. You get red. You get silver, the gunmetal steel. And then the side that shows you get this orange paint, silver paint. So much paint is hot. I'm not doing this thing just as well, how well they paint it. Of course, the red is painted. You get translucents in between. You get this goldish bronze paint. You get a more of a bronze paint. Like it's just so much type of paint. So let me try to give you guys inside. Just a full kind of look at it. You even get paint on the top. Get the silver paint. Um, that's it. You get his new chest piece in Rodimus Prime mode. 
you get this reddish orange paint, you get silver paint, you get this bronze paint, you get um, this gold paint, this red paint down here, the base red paint. Just a really well done piece. These are actually, this is kind of hard to get out, so forgive me. These are actually for the Rodimus in normal Rodimus mold. These are for the inside of his arm. They cover up their gauntlets. You get the maroon paint and the red paint with a little couple of silver splotches in there. Let me see if I'm getting focus. get a little focus on it. Looks good. For Rodimus Prime mold, you get the thigh pieces, which is red paint. Maroon paint, that reddish orange paint, silver paint, gold paint. You get a little blue or a little blue right here and some more, a different type of red. So, you get these knee pads here. And just paint it, I mean, just paint it spectacularly. Oh, sorry, I said knee pads. Those are calf pieces, calf covers. These are actual knee pads. You get the silver paint, the kind of gunmetal paint in there. You get the blue paint, and you get the red paint. You get one of each of these, and these are calf pieces, so they plug together like that and make the calf at the bottom in the Rodimus Prime mode. And I'll talk about this one first. This is the inner piece. This is the outside piece. This is, excuse me, red paint, copper paint, or reddish um, orange paint. Looks good. The other part, maroon, maroon paint, red paint, that reddish orange paint. And these plug together for the for the calf in the Rodgers Prime mode. And those are all the accessories in the second tray. Next, you get the Flames Toy Stand. It's the normal stand. It's a little bland for what it should be, but it comes with two pieces. It comes with this that just plugs on. It has the adapter pattern. It locks in. This locks in, and you can lock in in the back like this. So you can find the spot, lock it there. The tab locks in too. It plugs into his butt right there. Um, here's another accessory. This is the fish, the accessory for the fishing rod. If you want to do the fishing rod gimmick, I won't show that because I really don't care about that gimmick. But it's painted on um, beautiful. It's the rest of just everything else is. It has this maroon, this gold paint this translucent it's a, on the wire a gold wire it has this bluish um, gray paint it has a true copper paint so it's, it stretches and moves and stuff like that it's a really well done accessory and a thoughtful accessory just an accessory I think he didn't need and lastly you get the D4 toys exclusives this is an energy bow with the translucent effects and it actually turns into a bow and it, it starts it comes in the box as just like a cutting weapon but you can just take this it has multiple part, parts or articulation um, here here and you can make it like into a bow or like a blaster or something and you can do like that and just look at how deco it is red gold reddish orange copper maroon it's just fantastic this great piece the adapter that lets it plug into its arm but it's just spectacularly painted if you even look at the translucence it starts out lighter and get dark on both of them this double one and these two single ones so a fantastic accessory it's an exclusive you got from d4 toys As with most Flames toys, it really pops or whatever. Let me go cut the lights back on on the light box because I want to it's something I want to explain related to lights.
when he comes, he comes out of box to get the lights. You have to one, you have to pop these off. You have to pop these off. Unscrew this screw, take this back plate off, and take off the contact pieces, the contact tape. And also on these, you pop these parts off right here and take off the contact tape on both of those. But that's how you get the lights. And it's a we're gonna have a discussion about that because I think that we are past the point of having to undo the figure to get access to the lights. But that's how you get to the lights. I showed you how they look. They look great. Size comparison number one with his brother from another mother, his best friend forever. Flames Toys Drift, also from their Kurakari Curry line. Here's size comparison number two with MP44 Optimus Prime, Fans Toys Jive. So you get to see him with a leader and a carbide. I think that these are all the size comparisons that make some level of sense. Finally, we get to talk about the figure. And before we get started, this thing is probably the best painted thing in my collection. And there's tremendous detail. And the camera doesn't do this justice. So as I go through this, there may be some details I miss. Just know it's painted damn near perfect. And, it, I, and if details I miss just because it's so many details and it's painted so perfectly. And my heart's in the right place. But just know I'm probably going to miss some details. Um, with that being said, I got mine in Rodimus mode. This is pretty much how I'm going to display him. And let's go on to get started. Let's get started with the head. And while I'm saying he's perfectly painted, there is a few couple of things with the actual face sculpt. The face has gray paint, black outlines. But the problem with the face is that the eyes aren't painted. And the eyes, it, it looks dead. When the lights aren't on, it looks dead. And, you know, this is a premium product. Third party has shown that you can paint the eyes and still have electronics working. Fans Toys has done that. Some other people have done that. So, you know, for Flames Toys, it's time to up the game. But as far as the actual helmet, let's talk about the paint. You get yellow paint. You get red paint. You got this um, bluish gray paint inside there up and down. It's just kind of hard because of the way the camera and the light is. Let me see. You see it right there. You get this metallic red orange paint. You get maroon paint. So the thing is painted, painted, that's a little, that's, not, that's just a piece of, um, not an imperfection, that's a piece of um, something, I can't get to it, but it's gone. Anyway, paint, 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 this thing is painted as far as articulation, it goes down to there, up to there, and remember, left a little bit, right a little bit. You probably can go a little further, but you don't want to push this, remember, the electronics are connected from the head to the chest. And if you turn them too far, you can actually break the electronics. So if you just get too crazy with the articulation in general, you can break the electronics. Also, you get the confused Rodimus look. And it actually makes sense for this character. So that's the head articulation. It's painted beautifully. You know, I got some gripes about it related to the electronics and kind of the face sculpt, but done really well. Now, let's back out and get back to the arms. The arms, red paint, yellow paint is translucent. Let's go to the side. Copper paint, maroon paint. These wings articulate so you can get out the way um, for articulation purposes. Let's start here. You see you get this die cast. Well, it's not die cast. You get this um, joint that's painted bronze and gold. And so let's start. You get it goes. You can move two joints. You can move this joint. You can lift this flap up and you can move this joint to get pretty close to 90 degrees. You can get 90 if the wings weren't on, but the wings stop it from getting 90. I mean, not 90, the full 360. Damn, I'm tripping. My bad. You go that far up using both joints. It can go this far back using both joints. And these pieces that cover down. They aren't spring loaded, so you have to put them back when you're done. It goes 90 degrees on this joint here. It goes, you can also get a little extra on that joint there to get above 90, slightly above 90, but you know, it gets you what you need. Put it again, like I said, you got to put this back and when you are finished articulating it, when you want it, whatever pose you want, you got to put it back. You get a bicep swivel. You got yellow paint you got gold paint so let's put this back down i forgot to say this in the deco so you got like this bronze paint and this metallic silver paint you have a die cast joint that gets you a double bend double jointed elbow 
and because of the part because i have the podges on it covers down but it, it also covers in um naturally so even if you didn't have the podges on it would cover but you get to see kind of the detail in it there is no swivel anything below for the hand you now the next articulation you get this down the hand you get the hand here a little forward a little back a little in a little out and of course it can turn or whatever so and it came stop with the fist hands on i should say that so same for the other arm as far as the chest let's get on the deco you get red paint you get the yellow paint you get the translucent with the autobot logo that shines like you get this silver paint here you get this kind of bronzish paint you get this maroon you get this bronzish maroon paint you get this flatter maroon paint you get this copper paint you get this burnt orange metallic burnt orange paint you get red paint going through there you got silver detail you got gold detail you got more gold detail red here um just deco like i said i know i'm gonna miss something but it's deco really well you get a teapot that far you get a teapot that far you get an air crunch that far let me turn to the side to show you how much of an air crunch you get I know. like you get it you get that much of an air crunch you can go that far back with everything so you get that much with it so looks good also these pieces articulate as we get down to the hips they articulate up to kind of cover down once you decide what pose you want to get it in as far as the hips and the um crotch pieces red red maroon copper maroon red copper looks good detail like i said the detail the for the legs um i'm moving this up so we can articulate it so it gets up that way so for the legs you get bronze maroon paint you get this burnt orange metallic paint you get this red orange paint you get silver details right here more orange detail thigh swivel below here outward you really don't get that far out at least like this let me see if we can cheat it you get a soft ratchet that gets you up to pretty much you get the full you get the full forward you see that detail on the foot we'll talk more about that later back you get let me see if i can articulate this out the way nah you get that far back it's on the soft ratchet that I, I don't know if i mentioned that um die cast soft ratchet too excuse me Ooh, i did the thigh swivel out yeah you don't really get it that much out which this is as far comfortable as I'm. This is as far comfortable as I'm willing to show with my. Like you may get more, but I'm not willing to go that further out. And same thing on the other side. Let me see. Oh, you can get further. Maybe this is just tight. Never mind. It's just. Yeah. That's as far as. So this one gets. They don't get the same. I don't think. Let me see. Well, they, yes, they do. That's as far as I'm comfortable moving mine. That's how far out I can get mine to go. Bring it back down. Bring it back down. Out the way. Um, you say it's that sort of right. Um, talk about the knee. Silver paint, red paint, red details inside. Silver. Double jointed knee. It gets you everything you want. Has that copper and that silver paint die cast knee. One of the things that Flames Toys normally does that you don't get because of the gimmick is it normally covers down, but because these parts are swappable, you get this gap right here, but it doesn't bother me. There it is, back down. So, like I said, for the knee, you get this. Um, actually, too, it's silver, this kind of Bronc copperish light copperish paint red details you get red right here painted you get these gunmetal bronze pipes you get this maroon this metallic maroon paint um you get this gray paint down here 
blue paint, orange paint, um, inside detail paint, um, burnt orange, maroon paint, gold paint, gold paint. Um, blue orange you get this fake this faux tire detail here i meant to say this too on this it's hard to tell on here in the top but you get a faux tire back there too but you get full tire detail you get pistons so as we get to the feet go down that far if this is spring loaded goes up that far Go down that far. You get a rocker and you get this flap here that comes, so you get an extreme rocker. And details wise, this is piston works. This has pistons, it has copper metallic painted. The feet have, like I said, it's spring loaded right here. The feet have this copper, this um gunmetal gray, this maroon, this gold, silver, maroon. Um Copper undertones. Um, that's pretty much everything you get with them. So it's not as articulated as normal flames towards, but it's more than everything you need. So if normal flames towards is like a 10 on the scale of articulation, this is probably a solid like 9.3, 9.4. So anyway, that's this guy. Get him back to you. Let's see. I need to get him together. This is him from the back. You get some of that excellent detail. Sorry for the jump cut, but a couple of pieces of articulation I forgot to mention when I was going through the articulation. First, it has a butterfly joint. So, that's a really good butterfly joint. So, it has a butterfly joint. I didn't mention that. It has a foot swivel, so you can turn the toy in and out. And it has toe up like that for those running poses so just forgot to mention that want to add that yeah man here we have rodimus mode and i'm not gonna lie to you i like it a lot like it only took me like five minutes to get into it i was being very thorough the instructions are excellent like just follow the instructions and you if you get this figure just follow the instructions you won't have any problems I think it looks fantastic. Like it, I'm not gonna lie, it does hinder articulation a little bit. Like you still can do some of the stuff you see I got there. It hinders it more in the arms than it does in the legs. The legs you still got pretty much everything you always had. Like you can still do some cool stuff with it. But I'm not gonna lie, man. This this actually is a really fun mode for me. I got sorry, I hit the camera. I'm gonna turn the lights out now so you can see it with the lights on since I'm not gonna really go over articulation, but this is a really fun, cool mode. Hold on. Final thoughts. Let's get into um, the negatives. First negative is that Flames Toys is a premium company. They are the hot toys of Transformers. And as such, they need to treat the release as a whole as a hot toys type, a premium type release. My first problem is with the display base. They need to add um, a plaque to it. We are past the point of the display bases they give. Mine broke, but it's to the bigger point that these are cheap display bases. They need to add, you know, plaques to them to let you know the character get. They can add some a Tampa Graph logo on top like Hot Toys does. Even if they don't do that, at a bare minimum, we need plaques. Secondly, going back to premium, electronics. They need to revisit how they do electronics. This thing, you shouldn't have to undo your figure, and you shouldn't have to have limited articulation because of the electronics. We should go to LEDs that plug in and charge where you plug your figure in the USB and charge it like that. We need to go to the um, magnet thing that cuts the um, lights on and the, the lights on and off like third party does. Hot Toys has done that. Third party has done the magnet thing. Hot Toys has went to where they charge figures up and you can plug them in. So we're at that point now. This way um, Flames Toys is doing the electronics is antiquated. Character specific issues I have is I think the flame, the face sculpt doesn't capture the character. Rodimus is a childish, goofy character. And I think the um, face sculpt is a little too extreme, a little too serious for what he is. Um, 
also accessories. I, I think they didn't give some of the kids accessories. Like they shouldn't do a G1 nod to everything. Like they should have gave him some Rodimus badges. That's a, definitely a, something that this character should have had. They should have gave him the extra hands with kind of the numbers itched in about who didn't vote for him. But definitely at a bare minimum, Rodimus badges. I would rather to trade out that fishing pole gimmick with the sword for the Rodimus badges because that's something he's known for. Also with the um. Swap out parts gimmick. So even though he's in Robin's mode now, they should have gave a backyard extra tray to put those other parts in. Because now they're just sitting to the side or just hanging loose in the um box. And you could lose something that way. Back to the positives, though. There are a ton of positives. This is the best by far painted Flames Toys figure I have. I have the T Drift, Tarn, Megatron, the v Star Saber, and the Victory Lee one. This blows them out of the water. Um... Painted to the nines, detailed to the nines. And some of that could be character design, but I don't care. It's just painted extremely well. A plus, 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 plus job with the paint. Love the Rodimus gimmick. I don't know if the gimmick was there to get the price to $400, but the gimmick, I didn't think I would like it as much as I do. I love the gimmick. I think that this, I'm going to keep them. I'm not sure if I'm going to keep them in this or the original Rodimus mode, but I love this gimmick more than I thought I would. I think it's cool. It doesn't hinder articulation as much. Third thing I love, I love how well tolerance everything is. If you collect this line, you know that a lot of their figures, you be like, man, that is not loose, but they should have turned those screws a twist or two more. This figure they did do. They got all the tolerances right. So my final verdict is this is the best Flames Toys carry card figure I have in my collection. I think this is the best figure they've made to date. Keep up the good work. I highly recommend it. If you don't mind spending the money, I definitely recommend. It's a true, it's more than a masterpiece. It's, it's up there. It's what Flames Toys should be. It's the hot toys of Transformers. Thank you guys for watching. Let me know your thoughts in the comments.